All right, guys. So what you're looking at here is the V series uh, blowers that I mentioned on my previous vids, and there's differences between the traditional, um, you know, your traditional cases like you know your six or eight seventy one uh, blowers out there that you know pretty much everyone runs. Yeah, but in saying that, don't be fooled. These um, V series blowers hold their own. That there's a six V seventy one and that there's an 8V71. And um, actually this here is a um, 6V92. Yeah, so I like calling them, you know, 8V71. I like the 71 because, you know, just because of the traditional, you know, 71 series. But if you want to know why it's a 92, everything's basically the same, except for a couple of things. The, the cases, the, the housings and that, all the same as far as volume, the rotors, the triple um, lobe rotors, everything's the same on the 92 series. And there is a 6V92 and there's also an 8V92 uh, versions out there. But I'll just tell you the difference. That there is an 8V71 and the ribs in the case come up in that pattern so they come up all the way up to there all the way up to let's just call that the carb mount with another ridge another rib that runs across and it's only just got your bolt pattern like that on there so the 8v71 stuff the tops would look like that okay and the housing on the v92 stuff it'll look like this so see the difference it's got this large pad so there's those bolts which are them, but it's got that wider pad that's got all these uh, bolt patterns there, right? And that's just all it is. All well, that's one of the things, right, that a V92 has. So the top of the case would look in that, would look like that. And also um, the end plates are a little wider with bigger bearings than the V71 stuff. Right, so the V92 stuff had got the stronger bearings. So, I mean, bearing plates, sorry, the end plates. So the end plates are wider, okay, compared to that. This is like uh, 30 something millimeters where that's like, say it's 40 millimeters wide, right? So they've got bigger uh, end plates and bigger bearings within those end plates on the V92 stuff. And you can mix and match. And, you know, a lot of guys with the V71 series run these end plates. It's just because it's stronger. You know, they're wider, they're a bit more webbed, um, you know, and they got um, larger bearings, you know what I mean? Which obviously can handle more pressure and more load. You know, if we're comparing the V92 series case, although everything in there is the same as the 71, and the V71 series cases, right, and end plates, the um, the end plates run bigger bearings on the V92 series compared to the 8V92. 8V71, I mean. Before. So if you look there, those bearings, are, I don't know if you can see, they're almost two and a quarter inch in diameter where the standard V71 series bearings are only inch and three quarter in diameter so there's a difference there you can see it there physically see that big bearing end plate small bearing end plate and also if you can notice the v92 series end plates they've got extra ribs attached to the bearing housing there and you can see an extra ribs compared to the standard um, v71 series which practically has no ribs in there. So there's a big difference. You know, a lot of guys grab these end plates, big bearing, webbed, thicker, and they use them on the V71 series cases. It doesn't matter, you can mix and match them, like I said. The only thing that determines these cases in volume is just the length. Um, same as the traditional cases, you know, 371, 471, 6, 7, 8, 10, you know, your 14, 16, 17 ones, it's only the length. Rotors all stay the same width, size, you know, as far as height, the cases, and that, it's just the length 
that determines things. So yeah, you're better off. I mean, if you can score you be, and you want to do a more serious and reliable build, supercharged build, you're better off trying to find the V92 series end plates and running them on your 71. Or you can leave the whole deal. It's just got that large white pad. I'm not a fan on, I like this. It's just got your normal, you know what I mean, uh, bolt pattern there. You just, you know, make up a carb adapter where this thing's got this wide, you know what I mean, pad on top of it. And that's how you identify the V92 series stuff by, by that. You know, when you see the case at the top is not like this, it's a V92. And if you see it like this, it's a V71. Yeah, so if we'll start with this um, V71 over here, we'll just measure its um, uh, case, which is right there. So we'll put our measurement tape right there to the end of there, where the um, end plate starts, which this is the length of the rotors. Oops. And we'll just confirm that. And you can see there it's 15.9 close to 16 inches and that's what you know like that previous vid that's what 871 three lobe rotors are the length of them and 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 again guys the these v series cases they're actually the same volume as far as height with everything as your traditional cases like the same thing what i'm running and what you see out there you know what i mean mostly on drag cars on, on show cars the traditional case they're the same thing right okay we come over here to the smaller one the 6v now also i uh, must mention um the the 6v um supercharger is not the same as your traditional 671 like what i got what's out there like again the traditional case that everyone you know runs they're not the same they're not the same um uh, length uh, cases and rotors the width and height are the same and the design of the lobe, uh, the uh, the rotors and the lobes, everything else, everything is the same there. But the six V seventy one is a shorter case than your traditional six seventy one case. So, and I'll just show you that. We'll measure this. So let's go over here. We'll put that towards the end plate. So we'll just measure the case. Okay. Actually, let me turn that around. So we'll place that right there. And we'll come over here and they're 12 they're 12 inch rotors okay so that's what a 6v even though this is a 92 v92 but let's just call it a 6v71 i like that better um they're 12 inch rotors a 12 inch um housing case yeah so don't think that v71 case is the same as your traditional blower case like what you're looking at here on on my cleveland the traditional 671 Jimmy cases and all the cases out there, they're 15 inch rotors. Okay, guys? So there's the end of the case, which is the end of the rotors before the um, end plate start. And there too. And there you go. They're 15 inches in length over the 12 inches that you find on the V71 series. Yeah, they both look um, pretty big once they're on top of a motor. They, they both look, you know, big and badass. And some, you know, to physically identify it from the outside, a quick way is, you know, it's very simple. It's just the ribs. So on a 6V71 um, or 92, like this is, again, I'm just going to stick with saying it's a V71 series. All right, guys. So on the 6V71 um, series, it's only got the two uh, ribs on the sides like that, right? And when you go to the 8V71, you're going to have three ribs on the sides. And that's how you'll physically tell, you know what I mean, if you spot one on a, you know, on a hot rod or a drag car or, you know, what have you. You'll say, oh, yeah, he's got a, you know, 8V71 or, oh, right, he's, you know, running a 6V71. So that's the external physical uh, way to identify. If we have a look at this 8V71 I have here. We'll just look at these um, blower rotors and the lobes on them, which I've checked out, and they're in good condition. And just talking about the single pin that just comes straight off the Detroit diesel stuff, 
and you'll see there it's single pin there if we come along the other one it's single pin on that end of the shaft and if we turn that uh, rotor around we'll see there's no other pin there's no other pin right and if we go on to the last one there's no other pin and there's no other pin okay and then we come back to it and that's you know they're single pinned and like i said to convert them over you change out those seals and those bearings right to suit gasoline and high rpm you know high load uh, use and you just double or triple pin it meaning you know that one gets redone you add another one there another one on the outside somewhere in different spots too and the same over here and that way you know it's all it is obviously you'll need to get all your flat surfaces your end plates you know everything um obviously can get machined flat and decked you know what i mean so it all goes back to true and it just gets converted over like i just mentioned and it just gets reassembled timed and clearance and off you go you're ready to make some badass power